In this video, we're going over five tips and tricks you need to know to maximize your hunting trips. Howdy, Cap Elk Austin BMX here, and as we stated, we're going to be going over our five tips and tricks to help you maximize your hunting trips and get as much cash as you can. Remember, if you go on to like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new right here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old fashioned fun. Let's get right into number one. Number one on our list is preparation. And there's a couple things going into that. We'll talk about both of them. Preparation, make sure you have the correct weapons. I know a lot of us are just starting out, and at that point you're going to need to buy some of these weapons, but the two main weapons that we use are the bolt action rifle and the varmint rifle. If we look at the bolt action rifle, it is unlocked at level 7. It's one of the first weapons, yeah, one of the first ones that's unlocked. I think the pump is unlocked just before that. But the bolt action rifle, make sure once you're getting to level 7 you're picking up that. Right, this is an amazing weapon for hunting, especially if you use the correct ammo. The ammo that we use, of course, is the express ammo. That takes a little bit more to unlock. That doesn't unlock until rank 31. Uh, but if you are unable to get that ammo, if you're not high enough rank yet, there are some spots to get that. And we have some videos in our playlists to make sure to get you some of that ammo. So make sure to check out our loot spots. But make sure you guys are having the bolt action rifle. It is an amazing gun for getting that high damage on large animals. The second gun you want to make sure that you have for amazing hunting trips is the Varmint Rifle. The Varmint Rifle unlocks just after bolt action, level 8. I think it's one of the cheapest as well. It's only about 70 or so dollars, so it may be the first gun you buy. But uh, if you have not bought the bolt action don't have enough money yet, definitely pick up the Varmint Rifle first. That'll help you on these hunting trips to gain some money to be able to get that bolt action rifle. The Varmint Rifle is amazing for shooting all small game and birds. Anything size of a raccoon or smaller is great for the Varmint Rifle. Anything larger than a raccoon, fox, beaver, and of course larger animals, just ain't going to cut it. But all birds, as well as raccoons and smaller, Varmint Rifle knocks them out pretty easy and allows you to get great pelts and a large amount of animals all at once. The second part of our preparation is ability cards. Now ability cards, some people may say don't help in hunting, but there are a few that quite help that help quite a lot. So make sure you guys are checking out these. Here's the ability cards that I use. The ability loadout you see on screen right now is what we use most of the time because we usually don't switch stuff up for PvP. But we have it set up for hunting. Usually we go into PvP and get wiped out because this is what our ability card loadout usually is, but that's a whole another situation. For hunting, this is what we use right here. Focus fire in the dead eye slot. Now I think you can get you can unlock those all right when you start the game. The dead eye slot. Focus fire, we use that one because when you're in dead eye, it increases the damage. That might help if you don't have the right kind of ammo to give your gun a little bit extra damage hit to take down those large animals. Our first passive again, horseman. We do a lot of hunting while we're on horse, and the horseman allows you to increase your damage when you're on your horse. Again, as you can see a pattern here. We're increasing our damage now the horseman is unlocked at level 10 so if you're getting close to after getting that bolt action rifle and that varmint rifle the horseman should be able to unlock fairly easily the next two are a little harder the next one that unlocks is peak conditioning peak conditioning again increases damage as you can see our focus fire horseman and peak conditioning all increase damage so we're trying to get the most out of our weapons for that one shot kill the peak conditioning one increases your damage when you have a full stamina, which when we're hunting, if you don't have a full stamina, easy thing to eat something and get that all the way up there to make sure that one is active as well. That unlocks at level 14. And the one we have in our second passive here, as you can see, is the unblinking eye. That doesn't unlock until level 26. So if you're low level, it might take you a little while to get that one. But if you're higher than 26, I definitely recommend putting on the unblinking eye as the unblinking eye increases or it decreases how much your dead eye and eagle eye drain. So it increases how long they last. Now we use both dead eye and eagle eye quite a lot. So the unblinking eye definitely is a need 
when you're out hunting and we'll actually get into that more here in the video. Tip number two we have is all about location. Location, location, location. Of course, you only want to hunt where you can actually do some hunting. The main things to look for in a good hunting spot is a variety of animals, something that will spawn in quite a variety, as well as close to a butcher. I mean, you don't want to hunt way far away from anywhere where you could sell your stuff. It just takes more time. And as well as a place where it actually is a large area. Now, right now we're hunting in the big valley in this video. This is a great spot because if you see on the map here, you can go up north of Little Creek near the edge of the mountains and get a certain variety of animals, as well as you can hunt all throughout the valley and get different kind of animals, tons of birds, and it's a large area that allows you to have a large, large quantity of animals, which we'll be getting to in the video later on. Another great area that we hunt quite a lot, we show right now, is down in tall trees. This is a large area as well. Good hunting, lots of different variety of animals inside the forest as well. If you go north tall trees up near the mountains, you can get into some animals that only spawn in mountainous areas. So that's another great one. Uh, as well as here out in the heartlands. If you go out in the heartlands, you can make a pretty big loop and get tons of animals like bison and deer, tons of birds, small animal game, a medium sized animal game, as well as if you highlight the top of the mountains there, then you can get elk and even run into some big game as well up there. So use these locations to make yourself a great loop to get some great hunting done. Number three on the list is the use of Deadeye as well as Eagle Eye. Now Deadeye, of course, we have it set up so it increases our damage as well as it gives you a critical hit marker. Uh, so critical hit markers is fantastic if you want to get a great shot on something um, as well as that extra damage we have set up with our ability cards. And Eagle Eye allows you to scan a large area and see those animals as well as their trails and know what pelt quality is out there roaming around. So definitely use those two features while you're out hunting quite a lot. Allows you to follow the tracks if you lose an animal, like as we just saw, one went up over the hill. So we're gonna use our eagle eye now and try to hunt that one back down and get that kill. So use that dead eye and eagle eye quite a lot out when you're hunting. Number four on the list, one thing you definitely wanna take note of is quality. That's right, you wanna be out hunting and make sure you get some good kills. Um, we'll go into Number five, which is quantity next, but you definitely want to shoot for quality as well. That's why you want to make sure you have a great weapon, the right weapon, and good damage on it, and use that dead eye to get those critical hits. Because you definitely want to make sure, if you see a three star out there, definitely try to hit that critical shot and get that three star pelt. Uh, quality is definitely one thing you want to be watching for. If you see a large group of animals, scan with your weapon I mean you can lock on a couple different ones see which one's that three star get that kill first because then you can go on and get the rest of the kills after you make sure you drop that one moving on to our fifth and final tip it's all about quantity that's right quantity you don't want to be going back to the butcher with one deer or one pelt or anything like that so make sure you're shooting everything you see As you see we're gonna go for our, the highest kills first and then make sure we get a couple different kills to be able to get great quantity in our satchel. You want to shoot everything that you see, small animals, large animals, and large groups. Take out as many as you can after you hunt down that one good quality one. So if you see a large group, take out the three star first and then start laying into the rest of them. Knock them all down. Now you want to manage your satchel as well. That's why we look for a variety of animals. Your satchel can hold quite a lot of meat so make sure you guys are managing that as you can see here we just picked up some venison uh, you can hold up to 20 venison um, I believe 20 pork loin which comes from the pigs and stuff you can also hold 10 big game meat 10 ram meat the mutton right yeah and as well as 10 prime beef which is only from bison so make sure you guys are watching your satchel to know what you need to shoot. If you're really low on venison, make sure you're taking out all those deer or those elk so you can get as much as you can in your satchel. If you have 20 loaded into your satchel for venison but you need a whole bunch of mutton, 
go over near the hills where all the big ram sheep live take out them now so you can make sure you fill up that slot you don't want to go back to the butcher if you have an empty meat slot make sure all that stuff's full so you can maximize your cash flow when you get back to the butcher as you can see here we're checking our satchel we got 20 venison uh, as well as we need a couple more mutton our big game meats full we can shoot a few more birds and our pork loin we probably can take out a couple more pigs so now we know we shouldn't have we shouldn't be hunting down any more deer because we're pretty full on that focus on what you can fill so you go back with a full satchel extra bonus tip that we didn't have in the video I guess number six predator bait does work if you guys got it now the one trick trick you need to know is it only works really where you know where a good spawn is we do know of a cougar spawn right here it wasn't there so we draw some predator bait we're gonna run up a little ways we're gonna hunker down a little bit and you can't watch the area specifically because the game doesn't like the spawn stuff right in front of you so we know that a cougar does spawn down there we're gonna kind of look away a little bit and uh, sometimes it works fairly well sometimes it doesn't really work but for the most part it usually does work and you can get those large animals to spawn now this one takes a little bit of time we're definitely looking away a little bit saying hey game we're not paying attention we threw down some bait what do you got down there for us we turn back around and what do you know look what's down there a good old cougar now this one was only a two star but two star cougar still worth what's well, like eight nine dollars or so we're gonna go ahead and take the kill shot here and get this cougar over to the butcher All right, so we got our horse all loaded up. As you can see, we got a cougar. We got some three-star birds in the side. Make sure you use all those spots you can on your horse and satchel. Get everything over to the butcher. We're going to head over to Strawberry right now. Hope these tips helped you out, guys. If they did, make sure to smash that like. Subscribe to the channel for more Red Dead content just like this, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay. It was good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.